Hello everyone. Welcome to this informative journey into liver health. Today we are going to learn about the only organ that can regenerate itself. And this will not only educate but empower you to take charge of your liver health. So grab a seat and let's dive in. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe the channel for future updates. Our liver is a superhero, quietly working behind the scenes. It processes nutrients, filters out toxins, and plays a crucial role in our overall well-being. But how much do we really know about keeping our liver in the top shape? Not much, as evident from the recent data from the past decade. There has been a concerning surge in the prevalence of liver diseases and infections globally. This upward trend poses a significant threat to public health, and evidence-based data highlights the alarming increase in the incidence. Let's delve into the numbers and explore the factors contributing to this growing health crisis. Data from the reputable health organizations such as the World Health Organization and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reveal a steady increase in the liver diseases. Cirrhosis, viral hepatitis and non-alcoholic fatty liver diseases. They have become more prevalent affecting millions of individuals worldwide. Did you know that the incidence of cirrhosis, a late stage scarring of liver has shown a worrying increase? According to WHO, global cirrhosis-related deaths have risen steadily, reaching an estimated 2 million annually. This points to a critical need for heightened awareness and preventive measures. Viral hepatitis, including hepatitis B and C, has maintained a persistent threat. The WHO reports that approximately 325 million people live with the chronic hepatitis infections, leading to an increased risk of liver cancer. This silent epidemic demands urgent attention to curb its spread. NAFLD, which is the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, as we commonly call it, often associated with obesity and metabolic syndrome, has seen a dramatic upswing. It is now one of the most common liver diseases globally. The Global Burden of Disease study indicates that NAFLD affects around 25% of the global population, making it a major public health concern. Several factors contributing to the escalating incidence of liver diseases creating a perfect storm for a global health crisis. Let's first understand a fatty liver. A fatty liver disease typically progresses through three stages. Stage 1 or a simple fatty liver, also known as steatosis. It is the earliest stage of the fatty liver disease. It occurs when excess fat accumulates inside the liver cells. The very primary causes include an unhealthy diet, which is very high in fats and sugars, a sedentary lifestyle, insulin resistance, obesity and several genetic factors. Simple fatty liver is often asymptomatic or may present with mild symptoms like fatigue and upper right abdominal discomfort. Let's come to the stage 2 which is also called as non-alcoholic steohepatitis NASH. It is an advanced stage of fatty liver disease characterized by inflammation and liver cell damage. Unlike simple fatty liver, NASH involves significant inflammation which can lead to more severe complications, including fibrosis and cirrhosis. The condition is not related to alcohol consumption. Common causes include obesity, insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes and unhealthy diet. NASH may not present noticeable symptoms initially, but as it progresses, symptoms such as fatigue, abdominal pain and jaundice may occur.
and the stage 3 or fibrosis and cirrhosis represent advanced stages of the liver disease often associated with conditions like non-alcoholic steohepatitis NASH in fibrosis there is an accumulation of scar tissue in the liver due to prolonged inflammation it can impair the liver function and restrict the blood flow fibrosis is a warning sign that the liver is becoming extensively damaged whereas in cirrhosis it is the most severe stage of scarring and damage to the liver tissue healthy liver cells are replaced by scar tissue impacting the organs ability to function properly cirrhosis can lead to serious complications which also includes liver failure symptoms may include fatigue weakness abdominal swelling easy bruising and yellowing of the skin commonly called as jaundice but the problem is that the symptoms may not be evident until the liver damage is extensive dear friends both fibrosis and cirrhosis increase the risk of complications such as portal hypertension liver cancer and a higher susceptibility to infections the common and the dominant reasons for fatty liver are unhealthy diet which leads to obesity which significantly raises insulin resistance and thereafter type 2 diabetes by embracing a proactive lifestyle modification we can significantly reduce the risk of liver diseases and pave the way for a healthier future prevention serves as the cornerstone of the liver health first up let's talk about nutrition your liver loves a good dose of healthy foods and how do we count them fresh fruits leafy greens and lean proteins are its best friends think of it as your liver's VIP menu hold on a second don't forget the power of hydration water helps your liver flush out toxins keeping it in the top-notch condition so bottoms up now let's break a sweat there you go exercise isn't just for your muscles it's a liver loving activity too it enhances the blood circulation and aids in detoxification a win-win for your entire body now time for a serious chat while we are having fun let's address the elephant in the room excessive alcohol consumption it is like throwing a wild party in your liver and trust me it's not invited moving on to the regular checkups your liver might not shout for attention but it surely appreciates a regular health checkup routine screenings can catch potential issues early ensuring your liver stays a silent superhero prioritizing a healthy eating regular exercise strict management of the body weight regular blood sugar monitoring and reduction in the alcohol intake can significantly reduce the risk for developing liver diseases failure to do so may result in a larger population being impacted by these diseases in the near future creating an unprecedented strain on the healthcare systems worldwide hmm well folks we have covered a lot today from the superhero qualities of your liver to the practical tips of maintaining its health remember your liver works hard for you every day so let's return the favor by treating it right thanks for joining us on this liver health adventure if you found value in our content don't forget to hit that subscribe button stay tuned for more informative videos to empower your understanding until then take care of yourself and your livers bye for now thank you